Hey everyone, it's Hannah and welcome to the Luxury Home Show. Today I'm showing you not one, but two properties here in Dunstable, a small pretty market town at 30 miles north of London, which takes approximately 35 minutes to get straight into the city. Both houses have five bedrooms, a lounge, a study, three bathrooms, a WC, and a huge open plan living kitchen dining area. The property behind me is currently furnished as a show home and that's on the market for 850,000 pounds. And the property just to my left, slightly different floor plan and a bigger garden is on the market for £875,000. Can't wait to show you around, so let's get started. So starting the tour here outside on this lovely sunny day and both houses are done to a really high specification and very sympathetically done to the surrounding houses. This one next door kind of giving me Georgian vibes here. So yeah, they do look very beautiful. Got a massive driveway here leading to the garage where there is an electric charging point. These are very energy efficient houses. We've got solar panels on the roof as well. Everything is behind electric gates, so it's a very secluded and private development here. And the high street is just over there, but it feels very quiet because we're a little bit behind. And both houses are on the market with on-plan estate agents. I'll see you inside. Hi, I'm Solomon from Turnkey Homes, and I'm a property developer. The idea for this development is to create two luxury homes suitable for modern day family living. Enjoying anything from dinner parties to hosting your family and friends. I'm really proud of what we've created. It's gonna make a perfect family home for someone and I'm really excited for people to come around and have a look. Hello, welcome inside through this lovely glass door. Loads of natural light flooding through and I love that we get a view all the way through to the back of the house and the garden. So follow me, I'm gonna take you straight through into this huge kitchen, living, dining room. We're gonna start in the kitchen. This is massive. So not only can you be maybe eating here on your breakfast bar. I love a breakfast bar. I love that this has kind of been added as well. So it feels like its own separate little table, but this is a beautiful quartz worktop, easy to keep clean. Like I said, you can maybe even be doing, the kids could be doing their homework here glass of wine, preparation space. We also have one of these really funky multi-use taps. Very cool. Drink anyone? It's not real, unfortunately. Very realistic ice cubes though. So here we go. This is the main kitchen here. And I love these sort of like polished gray units here. Everything in this house does feel very elegant and sophisticated, a very modern and contemporary house. And we have this beautiful rose gold backsplash. The appliances are obviously very high spec as well. We've got two Bosch ovens and so much storage space. There is just loads and loads of space to put everything in there, which is obviously what you want. This is a five bedroom home. It's a busy household. Now just check out this floor. This is beautiful. These are porcelain tiles in this kind of marble effect with this lovely gray and brown veining. And then behind me, what every good luxury home should have, its own utility room. So we've got enough space there for a washing machine, you've got an additional sink. This is the perfect kind of place where you know you just wanna chuck all the laundry stuff, anything you don't want people to see, close the door, and then here you are in your show kitchen. Right, moving into the middle of the room, and we have this really generously sized living area. This is brilliant. I mean, I think because this is the hub of the home, this is where everyone is probably gonna be hanging out, whether it's, you know, it's the kids, it's a family home, or you've got a party, and you wanna be having a chat while people are cooking, or maybe you're reading a book as the kids are doing some homework on the dining room table. Such a lovely space to just enjoy. Uh, now, this is fun. So there isn't a fireplace, um, but we've got the addition of some logs here. I mean, you know, it's a nice addition of some raw materials, makes everything feel a little bit more homely and cosy. And I mean, I think this space is perfect for a TV and then you could put a fireplace episode on. My personal favorite is Burning Birchwood. Good episode. <laughs> 
feels nice and cozy, but I mean, we've got these amazing sliding and bifold doors here that lead out onto the outside patio with these slate slabs. And you could have a fire pit out there because this place really does give me sort of entertaining vibes. We've got the wine cooler there, lots of space out there for a barbecue or a dining set. Um, so yeah, I think it's a really great space onto the garden out there, particularly on a lovely day like today. Right, we're moving now into the dining room. Wow, the amount of light in here is amazing, not only from these huge doors, but we've got a skylight up here as well, so lots of natural light flooding in, plus these really contemporary down lights, these spotlights here. And if we do look up, I love this sort of vaulted ceiling and a very clever use of where the paint stops just to create what does feel like a much higher ceiling. So we've got space here for six people, but I mean, I think there's plenty of room for a much bigger dining table. You could probably get 10 people easily around here. Wow, what a place to come and have dinner or just your family weekday meals. Just to my left is access to the garage, uh, but I'm gonna take you now back into the entrance hallway. Right, and we have got our downstairs at WC. Ooh, which is very funky. We've got kind of two feature walls here, one that comes midway and it's like this open brick style tiling. And then here, a slated timber feature wall with a, um, a feature niche. Uh, so you can put plants there or candles. I mean, this is gonna be your guest WC, isn't it? So I would not mind my guests using this. And then a, a really funky vanity unit, which is by Drench and these lovely gold accents here. And it's like pebble design basin. Very cool. And then we're going across to my right into the formal living room. Okay, so we're going through these crystal style black doors into the very cozy living room. So as you can probably tell, the color palette throughout this house is very muted. There's a lot of browns, grays, whites, and blacks, which is a perfect canvas to put your own pops of colour and personality into as well. Uh, obviously this is furnished, it doesn't come furnished, but if you do want everything to be included, it's another £8,000. So I love the use of carpet in here. Again, it makes it feel really snuggly. No underfloor heating, but we've got radiators and yeah, a great family size room. We've got sash windows, a lot of natural light flooding in as well, but it's nice that you have this as somewhere that you would come maybe more for an evening, especially during the winter. And then in the kitchen, kitchen you've got that lovely more informal living area. There's lots of lovely artistic touches in this house so for instance the skirting board and the architrave has this lovely step design so the house does feel obviously very modern but it's nice to have these nods to tradition. Right we're going back into the entrance hallway Okay, leaving the squidgy carpet onto the underfloored heating here is hardwood flooring laid in a chevron pattern. And then we have another little artistic touch here with this black border all the way around. Love that, very elegant. To my right, we have obviously the staircase with these dark stained oak treads. Uh, now, obviously this is a show home. They're still putting the finishing touches. So there will be a big glass balustrade up here. That'll look really dramatic. Okay, I'm gonna take you through to the study. And we're back with the lovely squidgy grey carpet and underfloor heating. So a lovely, comfortable atmosphere to be working very hard in. And again, lots of lovely natural light flooding in, which is perfect for working from home. And that obviously is the trend moving forward now. Remote working, at least a couple of days a week for working from home. So it's nice to have a dedicated room to do that in. And again, these little touches, we've got these chrome switch plates here that just elevate everything. So now time to head upstairs and check out the bedrooms. Each of these treads actually has an LED underglow as well, which is very handy at night time to see where you're going. Right, and then to my right is an incredible feature wall here. This wallpaper is actually from Holland and it might seem obvious, but it does go all the way from the bottom to the top. So it's double height and therefore brings both of these floors together. And it really complements the other colors and the material palette in the rest of the house. Now check out this light feature. How impressive is that? I bet you can't guess where it's from. This is from B&Q. Ah. So for those who want some interior design inspiration, you can do luxury on a budget and visit your local DIY store. Very nice. I think I might be taking a trip there myself. 
we have got five bedrooms up here. So let's start with the smallest one, which is probably going to be your kid's bedroom. Here we go. I mean, it would be rude not to just have, have a little go. Well, it actually fits me. Wow, okay. Well, this is the kids' bedroom, or maybe my bedroom, and there's plenty of room to get a double bed in here when they unfortunately do grow out of the teepee. Although, when do you ever grow out of the teepee? Okay, then into the principal suite. Ooh, yeah, it feels very calming in here. Very nice. I love the use of the black accents in here. It feels very moody, a little bit sexy. And I love this colour on the walls. This is by Johnston's in the colour Intuitive. Feels a little bit mushroomy to me, really nice. This is a great size, very generously sized, plenty of space for storage, and then it's got its own ensuite. Wow, and what an ensuite. Floor to ceiling porcelain tiles again in this sort of marble effect, this lovely grey veining going through, and a little bit of gold, which is complemented here in the bath fittings, and the blue that goes really well in this vanity unit that's floating. That again is by Drench. And then a wow, that's a whopper. Look at this for a walk-in shower. Wow, that is beautiful. Oh, very nice, and a really funky mirror. Mm -hmm. So now we're heading next door to bedroom number three into another very generously sized room. I love the floor plan up here. All the rooms have a very individual layout. Now let's talk about the view. Wow, both properties obviously look out onto their lovely gardens, but you have a school as your neighbor, which I think is pretty good really. It's gonna be quiet at least on the weekends. And then we have these lovely sash windows up here again, that traditional nod, but it is a new build, so these are obviously very modern. So not only are they soundproof, I can barely hear anything, but they're very energy efficient. So there's not a draft anywhere. And this house is so well insulated that it actually gives a 30% increase in energy efficiency when you compare it to a typical UK house. Uh, right, let's go and head into the ensuite. All the bathrooms have their own personality. So here, we've kind of got a Victorian style tile. That's beautiful. And then a freestanding bath and tap. And we've seen this before, haven't we? The theme continues up here with that timber feature wall. And then these lovely gray tiles. And this time, a sage colored vanity unit. That's very pretty and obviously a walk-in shower. Now bedrooms four and five make use of the family bathroom. Here we go. So a very similar color palette to the ensuite that we've just seen. Uh, shower and a bath. And check this out. Oh, lovely big mirror with an LED light there. And we've got this sort of hexagonal tiling behind uh, in this feature wall as well. So that's very nice. This is probably gonna be your guest bedroom or it could equally be another study and you know, it could work from home up here as well. Got lovely views out there onto the driveway and lots of natural light. And then onto bedroom number five, another interesting layout. We've got this little nook here where you can have a vanity station or equally a desk, but yeah, another generously sized room. So I've taken you outside so you can see the back of the property. And as I said earlier, we've got a lovely big patio here, so enough space for a dining table or a barbecue. But then here we go into the very generously sized lawn. We've got two big, beautiful trees there, which provide a little bit of privacy. Not that you need it though. We are not overlooked at all. It's really quiet and secluded here. So all in all, a wonderful family house. Now, of course, we've got the one next door, which has got a slightly different layout. It's got a bigger open plan kitchen, living, dining room, and a bigger garden, hence the additional £25,000. It's not furnished, but it has loads of potential. So I'd love to know which house you would choose. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to stay up to date with the latest and greatest homes from across the UK. And I'll see you very soon.
2003, nightlife entrepreneur Steve Smith discovered a unique opportunity to buy a property that came with additional land. And there, the dream was born to not just build one, but two extraordinary homes. The first being the ghost house, built in 2018, and it took over 10 years to get through planning permission. And last week, we were fortunate enough to film a full tour and meet the new owners, fashion influencer Lorna Lux and her partner John, 